What's up everybody? Today's video is a special one. It's my first sponsored video. So I reached out to Evolution Power Tools and inquired about a metal cut and chop saw. And not only did they send me the saw to test and do a product review on, they also sent me the chop saw stand. So thank you very much to Evolution. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before I make any cuts, I just want to ensure that the fence is square to the blade and then I'm going to adjust the work rest so that they fully support any material that may hang over. 
I got this piece of one and a quarter inch by eighth inch angle and I thought it'd be interesting to see how quickly this saw can make a cut compared to two other common methods, a band saw and an angle grinder. So to be fair, I'm going to put a brand new blade on everything and then we're going to stack them up against each other and see which one's the winner. And the results are in. First place, we got the Evolution Chop Saw at about eight and a half seconds. Coming in second place, we got the Band Saw at right about 12 seconds. And in third place, we got the Angle Grinder with a whopping 19.16 seconds. So the Chop Saw made a very clean, very square cut. While the Band Saw still made a clean cut, it didn't make as square of a cut as the Chop Saw. Not bad, just not perfect. Now the angle grinder on the other hand, it left the nastiest cut of all. It was not very square at all and it left a lot of burr so it wasn't very clean. Plus, the piece was pretty hot to handle right after being cut. I probably should have clamped this one flat since it was a little bit larger because you can see that the blade actually bottoms out against the material before it gets a chance to cut all the way through but that's alright I just repositioned it and made another cut.
Okay, it's cutting steel like butter, no problem. Let's try something else. Now this is an 80 tooth aluminum cutting blade. I did pay for myself with my own money. It was about a hundred bucks and I'll leave a link in the description. But if you're planning on cutting aluminum, you're gonna wanna pick up one of these and it's recommended to use some aluminum cutting fluid as well. After spending some time with the saw, making a lot of cuts through different sizes and shapes of materials, I gotta say I'm very impressed. The only thing I noticed was with the V-block. While I think it's a great idea, it does have its limitations. Like if the material has sharp edges, then it's a little tougher to clamp it securely. And if the material doesn't rest on the base, then it can get canted while clamping. But that's an easy enough fix. And my only real complaint is that there's no place to store it on the machine like there is with the Allen wrench. Now the plus side is, it has more than enough power to cut through pretty much anything that you can throw at it. And because it truly is a cold cut saw, you can immediately get back to work without any downtime to let things cool. Pair it with the chop saw stand and you got the complete package. Whether you need to cut long pieces of material or make repeated cuts of the same length, it's gonna make your job that much easier. I really enjoy working with this tool and I feel like it's gonna take my fabrication to the next level. So if you're on the fence, or if you're a hobbyist like me and you're considering this for your shop, I highly recommend it. I wish I'd have gotten one a long time ago and I just can't say enough good things about it. It definitely gets a five star rating. So with that, I want to thank Evolution Power Tools for sponsoring this video and I want to thank you for watching. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up one of these saws for yourself and until next time, be safe and I appreciate you.